New at five today prom season is finally here and teens have been spending weeks, even months preparing for the perfect night. But even with all that preparation, a last minute cancellation almost ruined prom night for one Middleton group of teens. At the last minute, though, a local businessman came to save the day. KTV's Natalie Schaefer joins us now with this story. It just warms my heart, Natalie. I love this oh, story. Oh, it's a great one, Alex. So it's about a group of special need teens and prom is the first dance any of them had ever been to. So their parents wanted to give them everything to make it a spectacular night. And that included a limo to take them to the dance. But the last minute, the limo company backed out, leaving the parents hopeless. But it didn't take long for the Treasure Valley community to step up and help out. <laughs> for many teens, prom is one of the most memorable nights of high school. <laughs> Weeks of planning goes into the one night, from finding the perfect dress and picking tuxedos to ordering flowers and, of course, finding a ride. <laughs> it's a night Brody Hymas and his friends couldn't wait for. It's a once-in-a-lifetime like deal to make the night even more memorable for the group of teens with special needs. Brody's parents, Eric and Kelly, booked a limo. They were probably more excited about the limo ride than the dance. But that excitement was taken away in a matter of minutes the day before the dance. I was just crushed. I didn't know how I was going to tell six kids that I'd already promised they were in the limo. The limo company canceled. Other companies were completely booked, leaving Kelly and Eric hurting for their son. I feel like these kids, you know, sometimes get discri discriminated against and it, it's not right. Um, so I just wanted to reach out to the public and um, I never expected this. Their story reached hundreds of people on Facebook. One of those people, John Challenger, and it turns out he knows a guy. And so I called my brother and said, hey, what's going on with your, your party bus tomorrow night? I don't think we have anything planned for it. Let's give these kids a good prom. Before this, the Challengers didn't know the Hymas family. And for John, this hits close to home in more than one way. Back in my graduating days from high school, uh, about two hours before my limo was supposed to be there, they called and canceled. I have two beautiful daughters and one of them is a special needs child. So uh, it was just one of those things that stuck out and said, this is something that you need to do. We were raised just to give back to the community whenever, whenever we can, give till it hurts, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt. We'd lost hope for this event and they just really saved the day. It's not a limo. A little bit bigger than a limo, yes. <laughs> but it didn't disappoint. Wow, what do you think, guys? I love it! I love it! This is awesome! This is amazing! I want it to be the best night possible. I want it to be something that they remember for the rest of their lives. The Challenger brothers insisted on giving the party bus for free. The Hymas family really wants to stress how thankful they are for the generous donation and the support they've gotten from the entire community. And Alex, I talked to uh, Kelly and Eric on the mm -hmm. phone today and they said that these teens when they got back from prom yeah. could not wipe the oh. smiles off of their faces. Oh, that's awesome. I love just seeing how much our community comes together in times like mm -hmm. this. Thank you, Natalie.